Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is 8th video for hotel management system in Laravel. And in this video, we are going to perform mainly two tasks. The first task is customer crud. And in the customer crud, we will define the, we will implement these fields. And we will also implement the photo uploading system. Okay, so we will upload the photo of the customer. And the second task is, we will define the price field for our room type master. Okay, so that it will help us to when we when we work on the booking system then uh, we will see that that uh, how much price of the particular room type okay so uh, these are the things that we are going to implement in this video okay so let's start to do uh, let's start with the customer crud okay so you know that in our previous video we have created the room crud okay similarly we will create the customer crud I will suggest you to try to create the customer crud uh, with your own practice. Okay, just you can get the reference from this video, but try to create the customer crud on yourself. Okay, we, you uh, you can but but you can learn the uploading system. Okay, and uh, but you need to you need to try yourself to create the customer crud because we have already created the two crud room type and room. Okay, so I will suggest you to create yourself if you. If you stuck somewhere, then you can get the reference from this uh, from this room type and room grad from our previous video. Okay, so what the things we need to do? Uh, we need to perform for creating the customer grad. The first thing, oh, where am I? Yeah. The first thing, PHP artisan. We will create the model controller. Okay, so PHP artisan make model and the model is customer and this will be our with migration okay so create this so here it has been created okay so let's go to the let's go to the where i am here so here database migration and here we are the customer table okay so i have already explained this in our uh, uh, let me see this in our fourth uh, in our fifth video and how we can create the migration and how we can uh, create the fields actually migration is a structure for our table okay so we need to define the columns here okay so table so the first thing we will define string and this will be similar as a well care in our database and we are using the mysql okay so string full name and the second thing, the other email, password, mobile address. I am using the password because when we when we uh, create the customer, then the from the website customer can also be login. So for the login, we need password. So that I am creating the password thing. Okay, so this will be email. Okay, and then after that, here we need a password. Okay, and this will be mobile. mobile okay and the next one is the next one is address customer address and the another one is photo okay okay fine and let's open the let's open the database also so here we will open the database okay while it is opening let's go to the command line and php artisan migrate okay so customer table has been migrated now let's go to the table hotel manage and we have customers table okay it automatically name it the plural name okay so our model name is customer and the table name is now customers Okay, so here we have a field. If you go to the structure, so we have a field ID, full name ID is a primary key. That is a here you can see that this is automatically make this primary key, full name and all the things is created and updated at from the timestamp. Okay, so we have created the structure for our table. Now it's time to create the controller. Okay. Okay, so for creating the controller, 
we need to run the command php artisan make controller customer controller r so this r means resource route uh, resource controller so we have already discussed about the resource controller in our previous crud that in our room type and in our room crud okay so i'm not here i'm going to explain this uh, this uh, r means resource controller and obviously we will create the uh, resource route and one thing more i will add all the commands that i'm writing here i will add all the commands in the description also so you can get the reference okay so click here so we have it has been created the so let's go to the uh, let's go to hotel manage app http controllers and here we have a customer controller okay so now the first thing we need to do app models actually we can copy from our other controller okay so i will copy this but i will suggest you to as i always say is i will suggest you to type this uh, yourself do not copy and paste because if you type then you can memorize the things okay so app controllers this will be http app http controllers and this will be a customer actually we need model so why i am doing the controllers this will be customer okay because we need the customer model okay so <clears throat> i will also copy all of the things from our room type model <clears throat> and paste it here and just we need to change the things so i will change here i will change customer dot okay replace all and this will be change as a customers okay and uh, we need to change also this so this will be customer and uh, yeah we are fine now so we also change this with customer replace all and we almost change all the things okay so now let's uh, now we have created the controller now let's bind this controller to the route okay so i hope you have a clear picture that uh, what is route what is controller what is model and what is view okay so from the route we request the url in the browser i am explaining this again so when we request the route uh, then it will request a controller specific method if you are creating the resource uh, controller a resource controller if you are created then it will call the uh, rel relative method okay so we need to create the resource uh, it will be customer okay so where uh, where i was okay so we are discussing about the uh, logic that okay so when we click uh, when we request the url you go to the relative method and in that in that method we call the we fetch the data from the database and pass to the template and load to the template okay load the template in the uh, browser from this url okay so these this is the flow of mvc okay so here we will add this customer customer okay and here we need customer controller that i was top typing in the customer actually customer controller i was typing the customer controller here but we need this in a web dot web dot php so this will be here we need the customer controller okay okay fine so we will define this this okay so we have created the controller and we have created the route now the next step is to we will create the view and we will change the things and uh, then we will we can start the accessing 
the customer controller from the admin okay okay so let's create the view so what i will do for creating the view i will go to the resources views and here i will copy the room type and uh, create another folder with pasting and name it customer because we have already added this folder name in into our controller okay so we will open all the files and the first thing we also need to open the layout where it is layout and we need to define the master so we have room master so after the room master we will define the customer you can say customer master and the same name here this will be here so we are defining this id because so that it will open the drop down that particular drop down and here we will define the customer okay so that it will remain open the current master customer customer okay now we can access this customer from the uh, sidebar okay so let's refresh the page and here we have a customer we know we just need to apply the little change we need just fa users this will be users okay so that this will change the icon when we click on this it will show nothing because we didn't created anything actually we have a template but uh, this is not according to our customer fields okay so this is room type i will change this with customer customer place all and actually it is changed the all things in a capital but we need the in we need in small letters okay so we have changed this now we need to define the fields so let's see what we have fields full name email password so here we have a crate so i will add i will change this as address so this will be so title and uh, we have title and we have full name uh, not this this should not be title full name this will be email so this will be name email and we also have a input type email and this will be full name okay and email after the email we have password and name is say password and this will be pwd not this, this should also be password and uh, what uh, another things full name email mobile address and photo okay so this will be mobile so name it text and this will be mobile okay mobile and what the another field is address we have defined the address and we need a photo so after let's say we will define the photo after the mobile photo and this will be photo and here it will be file we don't need the room uh, class form control because it will extend the border okay and we also need this if you are submitting the uploading form then your then your ink type of the form should be form multi part form dot multi part form okay so encoding type should be multi part okay so we have form now okay so let's let's go to the uh, yeah okay so let's go to the we have actually this room should be changed this should be this should be customers not room now okay so we have um, uh, this open and we have a form full name email password mobile photo and address so let's uh, store this data so we have a create and we have store okay so we need this we all need this 
okay here i want to add new thing that i have defined in the our task that uh, in our that initially i have i didn't define that that uh, we will also implement the form validation here okay so let's implement this so let's save this first then we will apply the implement uh, then we will apply the form validation let's save the data first okay so the title and uh, this should not be title this should, this should be full name this should be email and the same name here i will copy the both full name email password i am saving the same password or you can say you can say simply md5 okay so this will hash the password this will encrypt the password with the md5 method okay this is default php function okay you can also use sha1 okay so and the full name email password and here we have a mobile so this will be mobile and we have address so we will say address and the other thing is photo so currently we are just saving the photo as it is okay photo name as it is okay or you can say we will remove this uh, photo we will i am not saving the photo because we will see that how we can upload the photo i will just adding the not available okay so we have a full name let's uh, go to the full name email password mobile address photo okay so it will save an a okay so let's let's go to the add new section and here we have a let's say john okay and uh, okay so here i i want to add one thing or you can say i want to share one thing if you implement the big thing then try to try to parts in a smaller component so that you can easily maintain everything okay if you do if you particular focus on the parts then automatically everything will be very uh, everything become very perfect so that i'm uh, i'm creating this uh, step by step that the first step is i'm saving the data then in the next step i will uh, i will uh, show that how we can validate this step should be uh, this step should be defined according to your preference because uh, if you can you can prefer to validate before saving the data okay that is obvious thing we will actually the logic is we will validate the thing but here i will add that uh, i will add the i will add the validation after saving this data but here we will add this before saving this data in our next step okay i hope you are understanding what i mean okay here just i want to say that uh, try to try to parts the try to make a parts of the work so that you can uh, you can work perfectly in or you can you, your accuracy will be very positive okay so so here is the password and one two three four five six and mobile is let's say this and photo is um, let's but actually this photo will not save because uh, we are saving the na and this is test address okay let's save this so it is saying that data has been added okay so we have successfully saved the data just we have we need to upload the photo okay we just need to upload the photo so let's work on the photo section okay so let's create the uploading section let's implement the uploading section i will going to implement the very easiest way to upload the image okay so this will be we have defined the name in our create section our uh, file name here we have defined the name photo now here we need to define image path equal to dollar request file and this will be this will be our uh, name and here we will define the folder name that we have we want to save okay so here we want to save public slash image 
okay or you can say images okay so this store will store the data in our storage app and in the public folder in the images folder it if your directory is not created images then it will create okay and we will need to do one thing more that i will uh, i will tell you later but first let's check this and implement this so i will copy this and paste it here okay and now let's go to the op operations i will empty the data okay so let's implement this so this will be john doi and this will be john One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and photo. Let's say this photo, and we have address test address submit. So we have saved the data. Let's check this. The first thing we will check here. So here you can see that in the photo you have full path, but here the Laravel what it will do? This store method will. Encrypt the name. Every time you upload photo, it it rename the it assign the some encoding name, okay. And uh, it will also add the full directory path, okay. Let's now let's go to the here. You can see that images folder, and in the images folder we have the image, okay. So we have successfully and where with the very easy way we have uploaded the image, okay. And now we will implement the we will implement the validation okay so for validation we will see request validate and here we need to pass array okay and the first the key will be name of the field and the second value will be the name of the the uh, name of the conditions that we, what kind of what kind of validation you want to require okay so in the full name i need a in the full name i need required and in the email i need a required and email okay and in the password i required the things okay and in the mobile I also need this required field okay and let's say the address will be address will be optional you can say that okay and the photo is photo is photo is also optional field but this four fields are required field okay and the two fields user can update when we make the website section then user can update from there from their uh, uh, you from their dashboard you can see okay so we have defined the required now it's time to show this require error if user not fulfill this thing okay so here we will in the create section here we will i will show if see this carefully if dollar errors if dollar errors if any error exists then what we will do for each dollar errors for each dollar error sorry this will be any if error any then this will be all as this will be errors and this will be error and for each okay and we will print the print the error in the let's say text danger and here we will print the error and this will be go in the p tag okay and this will be operator so errors any errors all as a errors and yeah we are done we are we are yes refresh the page let's submit this 
so it is showing that the full name is required email is required password everything is required okay so it means validation is working properly okay so we have also we have also validated our data and this should be go i think okay fine no problem actually i was thinking that this should be go after this new customer but it's fine it's no problem you can move this after this object instance or you can uh, keep it as it is okay so we have implemented the thing i think we also need to show that these fields are required in our uh, create template so here we can see uh, we can show the some asterisk sign so let's say this will be class text danger okay this will be yeah this is looking nice now so full name email password mobile so these fields are required okay so user can understand that he should fill this he he cannot uh, he cannot keep this field empty okay so we have implemented our create section with the validation with uploading now we will move to the other section and the other section will be very easy because we have already created everything in our create section okay okay so now we will fetch all the data in our view all section okay so here this is a view all section actually this is a copy of room type now let's go to the view all and this will be change as a customers and this will be go to the customer customer okay and we need a full name we need full name we need email we don't need password we need email we need a mobile okay and we will copy this here and this data will be full name this will be email and we will copy this two things here and this will be uh, what it will be mobile actually we need only one so here we will remove this and this will be customer this will be customer this will be customer we are fine now okay so let's refresh the page so we have john doe and something is something is wrong here we need to define the id okay so full name is this email whatever okay so now let's go to the view section this means show section and we just simply copy this table copy this table actually let's create the edit section first and uh, then we will create the no issues we can also create the source section why we are uh, creating this uh, kind of things okay let's create the source section first so full name this will be full name okay so we don't need to show the password here okay but we will implement the change password we can implement that full name email mobile okay and here we can say address or we can also let's show the password currently later we will uh, here add a link that from where user admin can change the user customer password okay and notify notify them that his password is changed we will implement th this feature later but uh, currently we are showing all of the data actually this password password uh, we should not show this password password because sorry my tongue slipping okay we should not show this password because our password is encrypted okay so there is no meaning to show the password okay so full name uh, we have full name where it is full name email password mobile address photo photo is important thing the photo we are not showing actually photo is optional so that i have not uh, i have not showing in the index but here we need to show 
so i will show after the full name photo okay so we have even created we have even a create form index and now we are defining the show so here i will show the photo full name this will be email this will be mobile this will be address okay fine so let's go to the refresh the page and we are going to this section so we have photo and everything but this photo should be actually this should be photo so what we will do we will define image and in this image we will define that magic that will show the photo so this will be asset okay and we will define this actually no require this curly braces there's no requirement for curly braces we can simply define this as it is so it is it is not showing the photo let's see that why it is not showing so we have hotel manage image so it is saying that public images that is not showing but we need to show this okay so here we are showing the data so we are showing the image so in the from the assets we need to define the path because we are saving the data in the storage folder and in the storage we are saving the data in the app folder and after the app we are already saving the public and image path in the database if you see in the database we are saving the path also here you can see that okay so now what we need to do we have defined this we need to define the width also because image is too large so we will define let's say 100 so this will be 100 pixel refresh the page so we have image 100 pixel okay so we have successfully showing the data now if you go to the uh, go to the view all but it is going to the room type because we need to change this customer okay and or where we need to change this now uh, in the yeah we have okay so now let's go to the let's go to the view all and let's define the let's define the edit things edit the data so i will simply i will simply copy this form I will not copy this form actually I will copy this table okay and we will define the table here okay and in this tip in this form we will define just customer just need to define the route and everything will be work okay so we need to define the value value and dollar data full name okay and let's define this value in the email also so this email we don't need the password okay i have already explained that why we don't why we need we don't need the password because password is already encrypted and in the photo what we need to do here i will show the photo so I will show the photo, let's say, uh, where we are, yes, here. so here we will show the photo, dollar data photo, and also we will create the hidden field that if user not change the photo, then we will save the same photo, we will send the same photo, okay, and we need to define the logic in our controller also, we will define this and uh, name will be let's say previous photo okay and the type will be hidden okay and we will save the same photo and the image is showing and now it's time to show the address so here we will show the address so we are done okay so now let's go to the edit link and here we have a photo and now suppose user user not change the photo then what we will do 
okay so let's go to the customer controller and i will copy all of the thing because we need in the edit also so i will just replace this code with this and here we will change because we are working on specific customer so here we will change the change with the find method okay and this will be image path but this will be go into the condition so if a request has file if request has file photo then we will then we will implement this then we will implement this else what we will do we will get the previous image just simple request previous what is this previous photo okay and we are saving the path so this is done okay so let's refresh the page and let's say it is taking time maybe some external resource is loading so that it is taking time because as you know that we are using the uh, third party admin section okay let's submit this so it is it is not updating the data so let's say edited john do we edited it is not updating the data customer find id something and uh, we are where we are edit and in the edit we are doing the things and uh, actually we are loading the add customer let's let's check this again actually if we are it is customer edit and update okay so here is the issue that why it is not saving the customer find id here we have a id okay it was not it was not saving the data because it it demands the password fields it demands the password field okay so i have just removed the password field from our validation because in the edit form you can't show the password because password is encrypted and you can't submit the password because encrypted password if you say the encrypted password then it will again encrypted okay so we will uh, we will see some other method we will uh, define some other method method to change the password for customer okay and one thing more we need to implement we need to implement this error section so that we can see the validation okay and one thing more i will do i will change here the title that is a update customer okay so now let's change this let's say edited okay and submit this data so it is saying that data has been updated and everything is remain same photo is remain same now let's change the photo also let's change this photo with this and submit this okay so photo refresh the page okay so it has it is saying that if request has file photo so we have file and we have request photo and it is storing as a previous photo where it is previous photo value is this and we are saving the data okay so this is this of uh, the form is not changing the photo because we are doing the big mistake we are doing the very big mistake that we didn't define the end type okay so actually we, if you are uploading the file with the form then you need to define the end type and we are not defining that so it so that it is not changing the photo okay now let's refresh this and again we will change the photo with the let's say this photo submit this so here you can see that now the changed photo will show okay so we have successfully implemented the create read and update now it's time to implement the delete so this delete is very easy you know that we just need to click on the delete and this will delete the data okay so let's click on the delete 
are you sure yes i'm sure to delete the data so data has been deleted and our all section is completed we have completed the crud section okay with uploading with easy way easy way of uploading okay now we we'll, let's now we need to change the now we need to add the field price field in our in our uh, room type master and we will show the data we will implement in the controller and uh, ev everywhere also okay okay so let's add one more column in our room types for the price field okay so we will add this via command line php artisan make migration okay and we will say add add price to room types okay and here we will define the table equal to let's say room types okay so add price to the room types table and the table name is room types okay so migration has been created so let's go to the migration database migration and we have here the field and we just need to define the table <coughs> sorry string and this will be price okay and because we have added the field we have already added the data so i will say default null or you can say simply nullable okay now let's migrate this php artisan migrate okay now refresh the let's browse so we have price and by default it has null value so i will go to the we need to change lots of things here okay so i will open the i will open the uh, let's go to the first uh, where we need to go i will go to the views room type we need to open all of the file title and we need to define the price okay and the price will be let's say number and actually this is, this should be here and this will be price and i'll copy this and go to the edit and i'll paste here and just change the value so value will be price okay this video became very lengthy but no worries if you are doing something then this is not matter okay okay so we have a title and we have a price and in the show we have title and we have price and we also need to change in our controller so where it is the room type and we need to change title yeah price this will be price and uh, okay we are done now let's go to the room type add new so we have a price field but we will not add new data we will we will edit the existing data so price will be let's say uh, this will be INR okay this this will be in rupees so this will be 5000 rupees submit and let's say view all and this will be uh, let's say 10000 rupees submit okay so our create and edit is working now let's check this show data yeah this is also working okay so we have completed our both task okay so i hope you understand all the things if you have any doubt or any query then please add in the comment section but i will request you to add that first of all 
I will request you to first of all practice three or minimum three to four times okay with these things okay and then if you still face the error then please add in the comment section I will try to solve that okay and I am also uploading all of the code on github so you can download the all source code you can just simply go to the github and code artisan lab so I am uploading I am uploading according to the according to this uh, video series 1 2 3 4 5 I am also uploading the everything on uh, I have created the repository and I am I am great I am uploading everything on the daily basis okay and, uh, so you can see that so here is a hotel management system so I am uploading everything so you can download the all source code change this okay and if you not understand anything then please add in the comment section and uh, please like this video okay if you are learning something if you are enjoying this then please add in then please like this video share this channel subscribe this channel okay and thanks for thank you very much for watching this video thank you so much